Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope Devotional. Welcome back. Hey, listen, many times I remind you, please like, comment, share, please, if you will. And now, actually, we, we also are uh, on YouTube, so you can also subscribe to to uh, to hear these these Power of Hope Devotionals. Love for you to be a part of it. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that in the next year as we really launch into YouTube. But right now, you can certainly like and share and comment. I'll even try to comment myself and respond back to your comments if, if you do that. So thank you so much for your support. And for those that don't know, we're right here at 6060 Spalding Drive here in uh, Peachtree Corners, Georgia. So if you're close to this area, come by and see us on 1030 on Sunday. I would love to get a chance to meet you personally. That would be such a blessing to get a chance to, to meet you. But otherwise, please share. If you enjoy what, you, what you're receiving, share it with some of your friends. They need to hear this truth. They need to hear what God is doing. So don't limit them because you're feeding on me and you're not sharing it with your friends. So please do that. And also, that helps me also. I'll be honest with you. I'm not trying to deceive you. The more you share, the more you comment, the more we engage, then it also increases, you know, those algorithms that they're determining. There are more people that are listening and more people want to be involved. So so, so you need me, I need you. Okay, we're helping each other. But this is, I'm, I'm, I'm perplexed right now. And I'm, I, I just, I just don't know what to say about this culture. It, it, it's, it's, it's if the, the Bible, you know, has no meaning anymore in our culture. And it used to be, you know, we said in God we trust and, and to, to have um, the Bible as a focus to sustain us. But, but now it's like we're trying to move as far away as we can. And what, what irritates me the most is that we, we, we are attacking marriage. We're attacking marriage. Now, you know, you remember back in um, the Burgerfell decision of Burgerfell versus Hodges back in 2015. So the Burgerfell decision basically said by the Supreme Court in that time, it said that same-sex marriage is a constitutional right. It said same-sex marriage is a constitutional right. Now, I will tell you that there are there are legal experts, and I'm an attorney myself, so don't question me. But there, there are legal experts that say, and I agree, that we over the time being we begin to create constitutional rights that are not there. And that was actually what happened with Roe versus Wade, although we had 50 years of Roe versus Wade. And I know that many of you may disagree, and realistically, I'm not trying to uh, appease you. Clearly, the Lord says that life begins. At conception, and therefore, it's the womb that's life in the womb, and we we have to protect that life in the womb. So I'm 100 percent pro life, and I do care about those that have babies and what happens to them, and caring about babies later on. I care about all of that, but but I'm saying that. Let me go back to my point: is sometimes because of the culture we carve into our cultural standard into the Constitution things that are not necessarily constitutional rights, and they're not rights given by God, they're rights created by man. So therefore, in this case here, now let me say this to you, I want to be very clear, that that the Obergefell decision was, was a decision that was made that made same-sex marriage uh, constitutional. So there were many states that had said that in that constitution that for that state that marriage would be between a man and a woman. And so what basically that did was it, it made illegal or it came against those states determining what marriage would be in the state. So, so therefore, that issue. So now they're going one step further. And now the legislature in the lame duck period, what is lame duck? It means before the Congress and the U.S. Congress becomes uh, change over because, of course, sometimes Democrat would run, sometimes Republican would run. What they're trying to do now is to pass some things through while there is a, 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 there's a majority in the Senate and a majority in the Congress of those that would believe this way. And what they're saying is they want the legislating uh, same-sex marriage by federal law to say 
that uh, that there was, matter of fact, before there was a, um, a, a Defense of Marriage Act. In other words, it was depending and protecting marriage and so that the states would not have to give in to other states in that regard. They could protect their, their rights for maintaining marriage between man and woman. But now, of course, now that they repealed that and they're saying now that anybody from any state, wherever you come from, that, that you have to regard the, the, the man and man being married and women and women being married. And therefore, everything that will be accommodating toward a husband and a wife, taking care of their kids, foster care, all these other issues will have to be appropriately looked at. Now, even if there's a Christian foster care, the potential is they still would have to look at same-sex marriage as they as they would with giving a child to a, 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 a male and a female. And some Christians don't want that. So you see, there are issues that way. So, so and I've gone a little long, but I wanted you to understand this because what it, it basically is doing is that it's codifying by federal law that which was stated by the erroneously stated by the Supreme Court. So I'm saying to you clearly that, that we are moving away from God. If, if God defined marriage in Garden of Eden, how can man come back and redefine it now? How, how do we redefine something that God's already created? He created marriage, therefore he's the only one who can define marriage. And the same thing here, so let me be very clear. Marriage should be between a man and a woman, and therefore, we should respect that in the state's law. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope Devotional. I'll talk to you next time.